and welcome back to Ask a Librarian. Today our question comes from Mike. He would like to know if it is true that no two snowflakes are identical. Well, let me ask you a question, Mike. If two identical snowflakes fell, would you know? Since nobody can go around and look at every single snowflake that falls. But to answer your question, yes, it is extremely unlikely that two snowflakes would it be identical? To understand this, you need to know how snowflakes are formed. A snowflake is created when extremely cold water vapor freezes onto a particle such as a dust or pollen particle. This creates an ice crystal. What makes snow different than let's say sleet or freezing rain is how the snowflake is formed very slowly within the cloud itself. As the snowflake falls to the ground, more water vapor freezes onto the original ice crystal, making a larger ice crystal and building new crystals as it goes. And it goes so on and so on. This allows the snowflake to grow larger and larger as it falls. As the ice crystal falls, the shape of the snowflake is determined by both the temperature and humidity. Imagine a snowflake being blown back and forth as it grows. It experiences changing temperatures and humidity levels within the cloud. An ice crystal might begin to grow one way, then minutes or even seconds later the temperature or humidity levels will change and thus the snowflake will grow in a different way. Because of this, a snowflake shape can resemble anything from prisms to needles to the familiar lacy snowflake that we consider uh, what a snowflake looks like. Individual snowflakes all follow slightly different paths as they fall to the ground, and they encounter different temperatures and humidity levels along this path. The likelihood that two snowflakes would experience the same conditions in the same way and the exact same path as they fall to the ground is extremely unlikely. So you see, that is why we can say no two snowflakes are identical. I want to leave you with this very interesting fact. The largest snowflake ever recorded was in January of 1887 in a small town in Montana, and the snowflake itself measured about 15 inches across. Imagine a snowflake. Imagine a storm with all those large snowflakes. So keep those excellent questions coming. You can either email them to us at ohplmedia at seolibraries.org, or you can even call us and check back next week for another Ask the Librarian.